Hello, everyone. This is Debraj Molik. Uh, welcome you all to this particular session, Ink to Real Cinema, Cinema Hyderabad. Uh, quick fact about this alternate title, Cinema, Cinema Hyderabad. Uh, I have been inspired by uh, the British filmmaker, Gurinda Chadda's movie, Bend It Like Beckham. The Desi version of that particular title is Football, Shootball, Hyderabad. So, inspiration. Adaptation is everywhere upon this slide also. So we'll be talking about adaptations in Bollywood, basically. Uh, there have been adaptations of Arkinarayan's Guide, uh, the famous Vaidha Rahman, uh, Devanand movie. Then there have been adaptations uh, of Chetan Bhagat's work. Uh, I know Chetan Bhagat is a very famous name, but people you know, many people are having problem with Chetan Bhagat. That's their point of view. Uh, what I'll be focusing today, I'll be focusing on the work of William Shakespeare, the Bard upon Avon. His dramas, his plays, uh, there have been multiple adaptation of his work. For example, uh, Comedy of Errors, Macbeth, Othello, there are numerous adaptations. So I'll be speaking about William Shakespeare's adaptations. Uh, do not worry, uh, he's not that tough to read or understand. He's a universal phenomenon. That's why he's the greatest, because there have been so many PhDs on him, not by him. But PhD doesn't measure any kind of, you know, it's, it's not a measuring yardstick to, uh, to contemplate or uh, to assume that this is the greatest guy on English literature. The best factor about William Shakespeare is the universal, uh, the universal element in his, in his work. Let us see the universal element. Uh, prior to that, I would like to thank uh, our Guruji, uh, Dr. Ashutosh Javrekar. Thank you, sir. And let us welcome to this beautiful session, Vilayati Tana. Adaptations. Yeah, so sir, explain me what is this particular phrase? What does this particular phrase means? I am trying to learn this beautiful language of Maharashtra. Mi haru haru shikte. So with your blessings and good luck. I'm proceeding forward. Let us see what do we have. So Bard in Bollywood. Bard is the name given to Bard upon Avon. Stanford Bard upon Avon is the name given to William Shakespeare. And these are his work which have been, which has been, or which, yeah, which uh, there are adaptations of this kind of, uh, these plays. The, I have tried to follow the chronology because chronology is important. Chronology samjhiye. I'm not trying to sound political. That's, that was humor. The first one is Comedy of Errors. Gulzar, Gulzar's movie, Angur, um, Doduni Char. I'm not going to speak about this thing, Romeo and Juliet. No, I'm not going to speak about Romeo and Juliet in this particular slide or in this video. I'll do that later on. We have Tragedy of Hamlet, Prince of Denmark. We have Tragedy of Othello, Moor of Venice. And we have, yes, the Tragedy of Macbeth. Tragedy is the king. I might sound sexist. Okay, chill, I'll keep an equality. Tragedy is the queen. Okay, what about the third gender, other gender? Okay, we'll speak that later on. So yes, every word I am going to speak or say, these are my point of view. I'm not saying these are the absolute truth. You can have your point of view, that's up to you. And there are comment section, you can come and comment. So I'll be focusing upon these three. Tragedy of Hamlet, Othello and Macbeth. Let's see. And there is a common thread between these three tragedy. That's BIB. And BIB, the full form, this is not a sequel to AIB, All India. I don't want to sound that word. BIB could be Bard in Bollywood. BIB could be Bharadwaj in Bollywood. Because these three movies, uh, Bharadwaj, Vishal Bharadwaj, they made, uh, he made these three movies. He has been an English teacher. Of course, he left the job and now he's a full time filmmaker, thanks to him. So, the first one is Makbul 2003. Uh, that was the adaptation of Macbeth. We had Tabu, Tabu, not Tabu, uh, Tabu. Uh, we had Pankaj Kapoor and we had the great Irfan Khan. Then we had Omkara. That's the 2006 uh, adaptation of Othello, the Moor of Venice. Uh, we have Ajay Devgan, we have uh, Saif Ali Khan, we have uh, Vivek Overoy, Konkona Shen Sharma, uh, Karina Kapoor, and the latest one is Haider, 
Heather, Heather. 2014 one, you know, uh, Shait Kapoor. It's an adaptation. Again, there is Tabu, Tabu, and there. This is the adaptation of Hamlet. I remember that scene. That's a very beautiful scene. Upon the uh, among these three uh, work uh, plays, I'll be focusing on the second one. The second one. The second child is mine. So let's see. Hario, Hario, Hario. That's just for the humor quotient. I am neither a leftist, not a rightist, not a centrist. Okay, whoever is doing great job. So, just that I'm a right-handed person. So I'll be starting from the right. On um, the uh, right-hand corner, you can see Bibasha Basu. She's essaying the role of Bianca Othello. And then there is Konkona Shen Sharma. She uh, she played the role of Emily. We have this lover boy. He is playing the role of Vivek Obra. He is playing the role of Michael Cascio, the conflict. And this serious looking guy whose family was in Goa for satsang on 2nd October. I hope you get the reference. That's the reference from Drisham. This guy is playing, yes, the Omkara, the Othello, the Moor of Venice. This is my love, dude. I had crush on her. This is Karina Kapoor who is essaying the role of uh, Dolly Mishra or Desdemona. And that guy, dude, you cannot escape. You cannot escape the way he looks at the camera towards the audience. That's Saif Ali Khan. I, I will say this, he is the ship of this particular, he is the captain of this particular ship, Langra Tiagi. Welcome you all to this particular session of Omkara. Dham dham dhadam dhadaiya re, sabse bade ladaiya re, Omkara. I am very bad with lyrics and music. Bear with me. You have to bear with me. <laughs> this Konkona Shen Sharma, she essays, uh, she essays, essays this particular role of Emily. And her character's name is Indu. If you read this particular play, it is uh, in, the, in that play, she is a side character. But in this movie, towards the end, she emerges as one of the strongest characters. She has got a Katari in her hand and she slashes there's too much of violence and too much of power play. She is like Ma Kali over here. And yes, she puts an end to the evil. So do look out for her performance as Hindu. Konkona Shen Sharma, you are a delight to watch on the screen. But the real man who have taken all the limelight with a excellent screen presence, this is the guy. <sighs> the smile. The, one of the opening shots in the movie. Just look at his... I can give you 13 reasons why this is the best smile in the world, you know. This is the smile which made everything possible, I guess. So he greets the audience with the smile. In the actual play, in the actual play, Yago, uh, the character played by Saif Ali Khan, uh, that is Langra Tiagi, he winks at the audience, but this guy smiles. That is his individuality over here. And believe me, he is the only guy who have been through First Folio. First Folio is the name of the book in which all the Shakespeare's works was published for the first time. So that's Langra Tiagi, that's mine. Let us see. In the actual drama, it was an handkerchief which led to the suspicion. But in this movie, Vishal Varadwaj has given this character a kamarband, you know, the lusty, the sensuous. and why I have uh, used this particular phrase, tool of chaos, I have been inspired by Agent of Chaos. Agent of Chaos is Joker, played by Heath Ledger, uh, played by this, the great guy who got the Oscar, Joaquin Phoenix in this movie. They are Agent of Chaos and I would say this is the tool of chaos. These are the people and these are the devices, uh, these are the people who would like to see this world burn. It's about sending a message. It's always about the scheming, the conspiracy, uh, conspiracy theories which are going inside this particular smile. Do not be fooled by that smile. huh? When he comes to the screen, he utters this beautiful dialogue. Teri or meri kismat to gadhe ki ling se likhi gai hai. So do watch this particular scene, particular, uh, particular episode of this particular movie. Uh, the movie take a gradual, uh, drastic shift when Saif Ali Khan is putting up this ornament uh, over here. It was supposed to be in the kamar, 
but he is taking up over here. That's the semiotic beauty. That's the symbolism. It is going to change everything forever. It is going to change the mindset forever. It is going to change the play forever. Let us go to the new one. Now, uh, I haven't seen this guy, Deepak Dobriel, in the poster, but I guess he deserves a place in the poster. He is the puppy uh, in, you know, Tanu Ed's Manu. He's a brilliant actor. He essays the role of Tiwari, Rajo Tiwari. And he, uh, the actual name of this character in Othello is Rodrigo. He's the second antagonist. The first antagonist is over here, this guy. This is an award winning scene, excellent scene. And this award winning scene, Saif Ali Khan transforms from a mere person who is having some kind of, you know, chit chat, pranks. And suddenly, uh, the kira, the kira of jealousy, it takes over him. Just look at his face over here, okay, in this in this particular slide, and just look at his face over there. The camera, there is a side shot over here. The sharpness of the, of course, the sharpness of the nose is the sharpness of his mind. I would say that's my assumption, and the way he looks into the water. So in this particular scene, this guy uh, Deepak Dobriel is uh, having some, you know, funny elements or something like that, and they were having some daru party over there and he pushes him off the dam he gets into the water and saif ali khan realizes he doesn't know how to swim so he gets over there and you know rescue him and take him back then he says something which inflicts wounds over here and he gets the real gussa that's the beauty of the scene. I'm not going to say so much, but this scene got an award. I would like to thank uh, Mr. Uday Surya Vanshi who gave me this particular scene to see upon YouTube screen. Yeah, so this is an award winning scene, one of the best scenes in the movie. Apart from that, yes, it's the same face, right? It's, it's the same face, but different stories. Why I'm focusing on Langra Tiagi because he is such a man, he's such a element in this particular Omkara that. You cannot take I money. You cannot concentrate any other things. That's the screen screen presence. That's I would say star star cast star power. Because in a recent interview of Film Companion by Anupama Chopra, he says that he was offered the role of uh, he wanted to do the role of Omkara, that is Othello. But Vishal Bharadwaj say you are doing the role of Yago, and it changed. And if Omkara would have been uh, more successful at the box office yeah these are not my words saif ali khan say, uh, said these words in that particular interview if uh, omkara would have been more successful it would have changed everything in indian cinema and what is the beauty of this guy i mean uh, vishal bharadwaj he takes the entire elizabethan play of course which is based on venice and he tries to mold them in the Indian milieu. For example, uh, he uh, he molds the Venetian power play and raises him into an Indian socio-cultural mold. Cinematic liberty uh, have been used in a refined way. Uh, for example, uh, Cassio, who had always been the scapegoat in the movie. Uh, Cassio is played by Kwe Cobra in this particular movie. His name is Keshu Firengi. He's a Casanova, he's educated. And when, when Ajay Devgan gives his power, uh, transfer his power to Keshu Firangi, this guy gets mad. Means he has been serving him for years. He has dedicated his life. So he gets, you know, Dimak ka Batti Gulo Jata. And he plans, he schemes, and he puts an end to the love story. He works on the suspicion. Of course, love should be based on experience. Love shouldn't be based on, you know, physical power or something like that, or too much of innocence. Love should be based on experience. He uses the lack of experience of Othello in having a love affair. He takes on the inferiority complex, means he was a black guy. I'm not being racist over here. And he thought, I'm a black guy. I'm not good looking or something like that. And he used this particular inferiority complex and in actual 
uh, in actual othello he this guy is very much of racist because when he meets brabantio that is the father of desdemona he says every now now very now an old black ram is stopping your white you arise awake the snorting citizen with bell or else the devil will make a grand sire of you arise i say that's the kind of animal imagery black ram is an animal you is an animal tapping tapping is basically forming but he tries to give a sexual overtone and see the racist overtone over here vishal bharadwaj very uh, systematically or i would say cleverly uh, avoid this racist slur racist tone in the movie but he gives a power play the 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 politics of po uh, power in this particular particular adaptation and yes uh, there are some rustic tunes for example jaba pe laga laga re namak isk ka i mean namak kiska hota hai maine aapka namak namak halal namak gulzar brings namak iska far fetched imagery that is only possible with gulzar sahab he is beyond comprehension he, he is a genius and then there is this you know bollywood foot tapping number about lust about passion jigar ma badi aag hai aag is of course you know the imagery of aag aag is passion aag is power so aag in rodrigo deepak dobriyal aag in you know i wouldn't say he is a lusty guy but he is after power so one of the most interesting feature of yago or langra tiyagi bhai ne kiya kyu bhai ne kiya kyu aisa so yes he didn't receive the kind of you know accolades the kind of attention from the opposite sex or the higher management ajay devgan or dolly mishra for example like that so he was jealous of the daily beauty of michael cashio he is an educated fellow fellow everyone respects him uh, girls waves at him he has all kind of attention he has got the power but this guy is actually working behind everything he is not getting anything he is a jealous so that's why jealousy is a green eyed monster shakespeare says so yes uh, there is uh, that's my little presentation upon uh, adaptations in bollywood now uh, adaptation uh, william shakespeare got the story and he made a drama that was adapted in the screen and then this guy vishal bharadwaj adapted this into a cinema in a hindi cinema so changing the socio cultural ethos changing the language changing the tone the texture the dialogue delivery almost everything but he keeps the original thing intact now there is this uh, notion in translation and adaptation if the translation is beautiful means it is not faithful it's like an uh, it's like a f beautiful lady i'm not being sexist whatever have been there in the text i'm trying to say that to you so if the lady is beautiful she is not faithful so if the adaptation is beautiful she uh, this adaptation is not faithful to the original text so it's up to you to find out now the question arises is this an adaptation of the real play or the real drama or it has been inspired by any other movie i checked i saw this movie uh, it's an, an name of the movie is othello 1995 i'll show you the poster so you just need to go back we just need to go back to othello the real drama you just need to go back to this film 1995 and of course you need to go back to saif ali khan because over here he plays a cop in sacred games which is an adaptation of vikram chandra's novel and over here he plays the antagonist is the same pair of eyes same set of you know same face but just look at the way he expresses in front of camera there is no one in front of him there's a camera that's the beauty of the performance that's the aesthetic value it keeps uh, is an uh, i would say the this is one of the most influential roles in indian cinema of course you can differ with me just find out this is the poster uh, i think uh, vishal hardwaj has been inspired by the, this one you can check the wikipedia of course you need to criss cross every reference well that's it thank you uh ashutosh dr ashutosh javrekar for teaching us othello in the classroom bharti vidyapit i remember long before the digital age he used to uh, take this uh, you bring this tablet you know the big tablet like this is a small one for 
for the lectures and this is the digital age i hope he is very technologically advanced thank you for teaching us othello sir for the kida for instigating the kida well that's it i hope you have liked the lecture if not let me know if you have liked it then also let me know that's it jai hind jai maharashtra long live william shakespeare long live the cinema thank you thank you all